and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. And our opinion, of can, course, Can Bob. you hear me, Liz, by the way? I, I assume you, okay. Uh, Today we're going to talk about should you drink water during exercise or what, according to science? This is a very interesting uh, video, so make sure you watch the whole thing. I, it just It's changing my whole way I'm going to be. The point of yeah. how you're going to exercise yep. and what you do exactly. during exercise. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. And yes, you're going to want to join us on our social media channels yeah. because we're begging you. But also because if you go to like bobandbrad.com and go to the giveaway section, we're always giving something away every week. Go to Facebook. It's pinned to the top of the page, Bob and Brad. And if you want a shorter version of Bob and Brad, a 60-second version, go to Twitter and Instagram. You There's 60 it. seconds? Yes, yeah, 60 oh, seconds. good. What about our giveaway? Yeah, this is what we're giving away. Can you I say it? You say the it. The Fit Index Vibrating Peanut Massage Ball. Yeah, this is a great device, really well made. They sell it for 30 bucks right now. It's uh, it's quite a deal because if you ever try to get a vibrating foam roller, yeah. those things are pricey. Right. And they work great um, so for does muscle this. pliability, but this works just as well. Right. So it really targets those muscles. Boy, I'm getting thirsty, Bob. All right. <laughs> now that we've been working out, what do we, let's go to work. So anyways, uh, drinking water. You know, I've been thinking about this at home. We're thinking about getting our RO system, reverse osmosis for our drinking water. And so I thought, let's oh, do some research on this. Sure. And I started about exercise, and I've been drinking Gatorade a little bit at home. You buy it on sale, you know, it's pretty cheap. So, yeah, it's a good deal, Gatorade, football, blah, blah. It's got to be good for you. So December 2009, I found this article, a uh, really scientific article, very uh, complete. In depth. Yep, it was. Uh, I read the whole thing, and uh, there was a lot to it, so we're going to just kind of get to the, the bottom line. Can I say the title of it, Brad? Sure. So yeah. Hydration in Sport and Exercise. It was the it was in the British National Foundation. Right. Mm -hmm. By S.M. Shrifts. Yes. So. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so what it came down to is uh, how much you, you need to bring in as much fluid as you perspire so, out. Which makes sense. Which, so, you know, yeah. makes sense and I don't think anybody's going to say, oh my goodness, I didn't know that. So, well, maybe some people so will. So if you but... sweat and you, if you urinate, that's, that's both losses of water. Right. Right. And you need to so take that in. You need to take it in that same amount of fluid. Right. So your body stays balanced and healthy and you can compete or, or just be healthy. You right. Know, at a good level, in a high level of competition and health. Um, so how much do you actually perspire? And they gave an interesting spec on that or statistic. Uh, the maximum rate they came up with was two to three liters per hour. That's a lot. So naturally, it depends on the humidity, the heat, the size of the person, how much they drink, that kind of thing. And how they sweat. I sweat a lot. Right. When I, right. oh my gosh. But I, I also, hot water, uh, hot water, hot weather does not bother me for that reason. Because right. Because I sweat so much. Right. And stay cool. So if you happen to be one of those people who perspire heavily, you definitely are going to want to be drinking some right. water. And then the next thing, the length of the exercise, typically 30 to 40 minutes. If you're doing something aerobic or where you're getting that uh, perspiration up for that long, you definitely want to get some uh, water during the exercise. Right. Because otherwise you going to become dehydrated. Right. To the... Which brings up the next point. Do okay. you want to replace it with just water? And the article clearly says drinking water is good, but you should have something with electrolytes in it. It's not, it, you're much better off drinking some sport drink, which uh, then brought up the question, well, what sport drink should you drink? You right, know, because water's not good enough. Uh, is my Gatorade? I'm thinking good, I'm drinking Gatorade. Right. And then... You were surprised. To then find I started out. doing a little research. This wasn't in the article. At the end of the article, they talk about yes, make sure you hydrate, uh, drink plenty of fluids as well. Not during, not just during, but afterwards. Make sure you replenish sure. Uh, the water. And uh, they didn't get into the volumes that much, um, but I'm I'm a good example of this because again, because I sweat a lot, and I and some days I I'm really active from from like morning till night. Right. And I, I, if I just drink water, it just washes out my electrolytes. Mm -hmm. And I, I honestly start feeling dizzy. 
even. Oh, sure. So I, I mean, this is really near and dear to me. And I, I often have to use a certain device too, a certain uh, product, right? In order, in addition to the water, right? To right. Uh, we're we're kind of being cagey on this because yeah. we're actually doing a whole different video on which sport drink to drink, right? Right. Or to kind of separate the good from the bad, right? And I'm going to tell you when I start started thinking about the Gatorade I've been drinking, it tastes pretty good, you know. And I thought, you know, I'm kind of a sweet person. I like chocolate. I like sugar. So I, I looked at it. And I thought, wow, there's a fair amount of sugar in this Gatorade. So I thought, nah, yeah. this is going to require a little investigation. So I start looking up uh, what is actually in sport drinks. And that's what we're going to have our next video on. And this is really surprising. And I just, we apologize that we're not going to cover it all. We just felt it was too much in one video. Right. We're exactly. gonna, it's going to be next week on the Bob and Brad channel. So yes. we'll look for it and uh, we'll give you the creep great details but right now just understand this one yes you should be drinking water during exercise especially if you're going for 30 to 40 minutes and you're perspiring a lot and you're perspiring and two you do need to have electrolytes you need to replace those in yes. some fashion and sodium is the most important one. sodium is the most important so one. people are afraid to get too much salt but when you're exercising your uh, perspiration has a lot of sodium and that, salt and in that, it. that's exactly it, right because you know we were trying to lower the sodium in our lives and we're using the salt substitute so i'm not getting any, any extra salt you right. can still get it in foods and stuff like that right. but but I'm not getting any extra, so that's where I think I was so vulnerable to this, you know. Sure. Uh, yeah. And so I need to add some salt in there. Yeah. So. Well, all right. what can we say, Bob? I think well, we can fix just about anything except for a broken heart. Right. So just remember, next week we're going to have this incredible, fun video on sport drinks. Yeah. Which sport drink is good? Which one is bad? Which one should you avoid totally? And it's amazing, Bob. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching.